guys so um i forgot to film an actual proper intro so here's me just popping in like um a week or so later and uh just saying i got some rubber ducky isopods at the most recent expo i went to which i'm gonna make another video on but i just thought i get the isopods out first especially because i'm thinking of putting some stuff out on instagram but anyways, um, uh, basically I'm not going to be talking this whole video, I'm just setting up the tank. The tank is going to be temporary too, I know it's too small. I've just heard it's better to start off small, just so that they can start breeding, um, and not be too far from each other. I have huge, like, stackable storage bins, um, but they're like four times the size of the tank I actually end up putting them in. So I'm just doing that and you guys get to come along with my journey and you get a little mini haul at the start of the video of stuff that I got for Schnappy and Tippy. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm just excited to start making this video of the isopods and there's one point where I am popping back in to talk about the tank itself, but for the rest of the video it's basically just me setting up the tank no voice, nothing, um, I was supposed to get 10 rubber duckies, which I know is super crazy because, um, so far I've only seen 10 rubber duckies being like 75, 80 dollars, especially with shipping, then that's like a hundred something, but I found them at this expo for 10 for 40 and I was mind blown. There's a chance there might be some amber duckies in there, but it doesn't matter. I have my duckies that I have been wanting forever. I first learned about duckies when they were like $200 for five, and ever since then I have always wanted them. I just hope I do an okay job. I have some powder oranges that I'm keeping in a little 2.5 gallon. And they seem to be doing really well and breeding, so I hope I do okay. This is my first Cubara species. <laughs> Probably wasn't my best to do um, my first Cubaris as rubber duckies, but um, the whole reason I went to that expo was to get isopods, and I could not pass up on the deal. So I have isopods now, and I actually ended up getting 11 because they gave me an extra one uh which I didn't know about but it makes sense because like if you one of them dies in traffic or something stress then you need to have an extra or else that's scamming but so yeah uh I hope you enjoy uh I'll see you in the next video I guess bye so apparently this isn't gonna be a completely soundless video um I'm just doing my first voiceover, I guess, but um, this is a cute little, I think, root, maybe, that I saw for Tippy, and I thought it'd be cute for Tippy's new 40 gallon. Oh, and this is the cork log for Schnappy. Um, I just sped up all the videos, so it's a little hard to catch up, but there's me demonstrating how big it is, and here is the actual Zilla habitat for my isopods. My rubber duckies, to be exact, and it looks like I'm putting it together already. I hope you guys can actually hear this over the music. Like I said, I've never done a voiceover before, but there's <laughs> me showing off the rubber bands. I was so excited to do this completely with no sound. I don't know why this is so much of a hassle, but... Uh, Aggressively reading the instructions and I actually that last clip was sped up two times and this one was sped up eight times so I've I've gotten just bored watching my own video <laughs> so I sped it up a bunch which I hope helps and yeah we'll see how this actually comes out um are they gonna drop the
I'm not even there. I literally ran away to get tweezers because you can't open stuff with acrylic nails. I've heard people talking about how hard it is to get that plastic off. You don't know until you try, bro. <laughs> confused i was like how does this actually lock it because i only had it like this and i was literally flicking it up like that and i'm like mm, that doesn't really hold it but i mean i guess it's gonna stay in place i'm not super worried but like oh my god i'm so stupid that is so nice i was like why is this turning thing even here if there's no reason like is it just for design but no they're smart i'm the dumb one i love this so much actually this is so nice i can't wait to use this for isopods i'm so excited <laughs>
much for watching and putting up with all of the shakiness of the camera and my hands um and my first time doing a voiceover but you know i had fun and i'm just super excited to have my rubber duckies so um you can check me out on my instagram which is the same name as my channel um and yeah i'll post some updates on there and i'll try to do some updates on here probably a vlog you know uh you know so <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to do a video about the expo itself and some extra videos. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!